Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of Final Fantasy Adventure. In this episode, I'm going to be taking on three, count them, three bosses. And I'm still looking for my girlfriend. I have no idea how I'm going to get to her. All I know is I have to go through this mountain chain. And yeah, basically, it's going to be another wild adventure. <laughs> but uh, sit tight and hopefully we'll get through it without dying too much. So just a little recap, in the last episode we fought two different bosses. The first boss was Medusa, who was uh, very hard to, to fight. She would pretty much turn you to stone, where you couldn't move. You could still attack, but you couldn't move. So I was at uh, pretty much the mercy of my follower, who could heal me from stone. Unfortunately, my follower, whose name was Amanda... Uh, she was bitten by Medusa and was starting to turn into Medusa herself, so I had to finish her off. Uh, after that, I brought her tear because she actually turned into Medusa. Uh, I, I brought her tear to my friend or her brother, Lester, to cure him of the spell that uh, the Medusa's son, Devias, had put on him. And so, with the with Lester's help, I defeated Device in his tower, and now Lester is playing the harp, and he pretty much cleared the, the weird gas that was preventing me from going onto uh, the mountains to the north. To be honest, I never really thought that this game would be so complicated. There's a lot of items, there's a lot of uh, NPCs, a lot of different characters, a lot of enemies, there's a lot to the skill system. And the bosses have different weaknesses. It's uh, it, it reminds me of Hyrule Fantasy, but uh, in a lot of ways, it, it reminds me of newer, more modern games because it's just there's there's so much added to this. And then the story is just so in depth as well. I I can't believe that there are so many characters with so many different plot devices. It, it really amazes me because this was a, a game that came out in 1991. You didn't really see a lot of these these story mode games. Out. Uh, I mean, one good example of something that would be similar to this is Takeshi's Challenge. I mean, that that game itself was a, ahead of its time with all the things you could do. But really, I, I think this was the the turning point in the gaming industry, where video game developers were seeing that people do like those those uh, those really long adventure games. They do like those multiple boss, multiple dungeon kind of games where you level up. And I'm glad I could be able to play this game. It's definitely become one of my favorite Game Boy games. Alright, I should be at the end. Oh, there's the boss. Okay. Alright, we just gotta kill this weird crab monster thing. Pull up my chain. I, I think I need to be long range for this. Oh! Oh, man. Yeah, no, he takes up a lot of the screen. And he just pretty much rotates around this bridge. So I'm thinking, stay on this side, wait for him to rotate. Ah. And then you gotta get on the bridge and hit him in the eyes. It's the only way to, to, to do damage to him. Gosh. This hitbox is so huge. No. Oh. Alright, there we go. Uh, it took more damage, I need to get my magic out. Alright, I already have cure selected, that's good. Oh, no, no! Oh, it, it took so much damage there. Let's save before I actually die. Oh! Come on! Stop with the damage. Oh! Alright, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's do it! Rock that world! Rock that world! Doesn't take any damage whatsoever. Come on. We gotta be halfway there. Come on. This guy reminds me of Goma. 
can only hit him in the... He's a big crab that you can only hurt by hitting him in the eyes. Coincidence? Probably. Alright, come on. Get on this side. Wait for him to cross. There's two windows. When he's moving... And when he's crossing, and then right when he's up, up north of the bridge, you can damage him. There's the only two windows to damage his eyes, though. Oh, he's got to be close. I don't know how he's damaging me when he's on the other side. Like, I'm nowhere near him. Yeah, I guess I could damage him when he's on on the right. He's moving over. Come on. That's not the way I want to swing. Come on, man. Just die hell ready, please. What do you? There we go. Finally. Damn. Defeated Metal Crab. I I guess there's no uh there's nothing yep, there's no item. Great. Alright, this should be the exit here. Yep, and now we have entered into uh Mount Rock, I believe that's what it's called. And uh if you thought the enemies were tough before, oh boy. Yeah, no, you need the the highest level weapons to defeat these enemies, as you can see. They will take a lot of hits. My chain was pretty much <laughs> back from when I fought Mr. Lee. So, I mean, that was uh, a bit of a while ago in this adventure. So I don't think it's going to be very useful here. Alright, so let's get out Cure and have that ready. These guys really do a lot of damage to me. This one Viking looking dude in particular. See, he seems to, to shoot out Swedish meatballs for some reason. And then those little springy guys will actually turn you into a Moogle. And when you're in Moogle form, you take a lot of damage. But let's get up here. And ooh, it's a little uh, shop, I believe. And of course, he's going to poison me. All right. It's a uh, cure. Let's just take the poison because it doesn't last so long. All right. Let's see. What does this guy sell? Opal. All right. So these are, this is new equipment. I, uh, I I don't have enough, so I'm gonna have to sell some of my stuff. Let's sell these pillows. Get rid of those, and then we need to sell. Um, what else do I have? I could sell my my old stuff, like my broad, my broadsword, my... I don't want to sell my silver soul. I'll sell my extra gold uh, chest, chest plate. Let's see. Uh, let's sell the crystal. That's, that's a lot of money. I don't know what a lot of this stuff does, honestly. Sell that silver. No, let's sell the iron. I still don't have enough. I guess I'm gonna have to come back and uh, and buy it. But let's get the the chest plate and the helm for right now, just so I have some extra defense, because these enemies do a lot of damage, especially the Swedish meatball Viking. And these bringing guys are really hard to beat. And uh, I have to be careful too, because I don't want to be a Moogle. Just inst oh, level up, awesome. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna continue to invest in wisdom because I'm finding that I really, really need to keep using magic throughout this game. Like, wisdom would be the number one thing to level up. Alright, so I made it to the cave I need to uh, enter into 
to fight the last two bosses, and there's an order to, order to it. Uh, before I fight the golem, I have to kill another boss that drops a weapon that will uh, that is pretty much the only way to damage the golem, uh, and it's gonna be the mace. And I have to fight that guy, and then I have to make my way back around to the entrance. But the cave is kind of like the lost woods from. Uh, Hyrule Fantasy, it will be kind of tricky to get through because there's only uh, a certain directions that you can take to get to where I am right now, but uh, I'm in a little uh, trap room, and I just clear those werewolves like they're nothing, like they're hot butter, and what I need to do is I need to just put all these chests on there. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you have to kill the werewolves before you start putting the chest on the plates. So I need to uh, take the one of the chests off and then put it back on. Or just take it off completely. There we go. Let's get out fire. Now we can get this guy out of here. Have those things throw a bunch of crap at me. Oh, I leveled up! Nice. Alright, so I, I'm just gonna stick to wisdom. Just because I, I really need magic. Go through here. And then the, yeah, this should be the entrance. Just go up. Alright. And here we go. Cyclops. Now, I would use magic on him, but I don't have that many magic points. I guess I will. Just screw it. For some reason, magic will target his mace. Won't do any damage to him, but I guess it's a, it's a thing that you can do. And the main way to uh, attack him is wait for him to lunge and then try to get in a position to do damage. I'm not going to use my chain here, just because the chain, as you saw in the last boss fight, it, it does nothing. It, it does no damage whatsoever. Uh, not that this axe really does that much damage, because this guy, he's, he's really tanky. He takes a lot of hits. And I'm at 5 health. Thank god I didn't just get KO'd there, because I have not saved in a while. Let's avoid that. Alright, let's keep hitting him. This guy definitely, uh, Definitely wants my butt. Heal up again right there. We gotta, pretty much what I, what I wanna do is I wanna lure him up to the top. I want him to get up there and then I wanna drag him to the middle. I want him to attack again in the middle. And then once he's um, on the bottom, I wanna go back up here and try to lure him back up top. That way I just have an easier time of hitting him from the south but like I said he, he takes a lot of hits for for whatever reason like he do, like I, I had to do a lot of damage to this guy to beat him it, he, it looks like he shops at Hot Topic I don't know that uh that get up says uh I'm a punk rocker I'm not and I don't care who knows front of him. Die! There we go. Exploded into a million pieces. Defeated Cyclops. And there we go. We got the Morning Star. Noise. I can now roleplay the Witch King from Lord of the Rings. So let's see this. Yeah, no, this is a really fun weapon. Alright, let's get ready to fight the golem. I need to take out my X ether, restore some of my magic. And let's uh, see here. Get an X cure ready. Heal myself up. We'll save the game before I go in. And I need to use a key. Great. Man, need a lot of equipment for this game. Alright, so this is the golem. Now, what I've noticed is in fantasy games, you always call robots golems, but 
in any other genre, they're just robots. I guess that's just, you know, the whole idea that there were no robots in, uh, in the lands of mana. There were only golems, even though I think there's a, ch a Chococo bot. A ch Chico Chococo bot? Chico bot? We'll see. We'll, we'll get to that point, but this should be the easiest battle, definitely, because I'm fighting him with my latest weapon, so it's going to be kind of hard to dodge that. Like, he's hard, he's really hard to dodge when it comes to his attacks, because he just flies across the room like Macho Man or Randy Savage. Because of the fact, machine versus machine and man versus man, doubled and tripled by the exposure of the WCW Heavyweight Championship belt, don't you think I have a little bit of interest right there? I... But, uh, <laughs> eventually he stops and it's pretty easy to avoid. Okay, come on. I, as you can see, I'm just putting down the pain. Like, just like Macho Man Randy Savage, I am uh, giving him the business. And uh, heal up some more. He should be more than halfway dead. It looks like he's getting faster. He's doing more of his, his body slams. But in the beginning, he just starts out going up and down with his body slams, and then when you uh, get him down to half half health and you're vertical, uh, or not vertical, you're horizontal. Yeah, when you're horizontal of him. He'll start. Up oh, there we go. Defeated Golem. Receive the magic book of lightning. Learned lit. It's lit. Awesome. So we got a new magic ability. And we leveled up. Nice. Alright, so we're definitely going to continue the wisdom. Because I need to be a wise, wise man at the end of this at the end of this run. Alright, so Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. I can break rocks with the morning star, that's cool. Can I break this guy's face with the morning star? Yes I can. Took like three hits. Yeah. The bridge just completely breaks for some reason. I don't know why. I can't go back anymore. There's no going back. There's no turning back. There's only... we're Well, actually, we're back in where we started. Where we were pretty much thrown out of. So we're we're back. We're stronger. We're bigger. We're about to, to dick the hell out of the Dark Lord. What's in here? A uh, dungeon. Alright. This is going to be fun to explore, but... I think I'm just going to leave it here, and I'm going to say my goodbyes to everybody. Thank you for joining me on another amazing episode of Final Fantasy Adventure. I hope to see you all in the future. i be coming out with a new episode soon. Uh, please subscribe. Please check my Twitter if you haven't, and uh, I'll be seeing you later, guys. Peace out. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I work hard on these and I really appreciate all the support. Uh, I'm going to be making in the future more of retro adventure games. I really just focus on adventure games because it's in my opinion they're the most fun to do. So you probably won't see me doing something like Pong or, or Mario. Uh, I might do a few you know little uh, one-time videos just to review a video game but I really like uh, Pokemon, Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy, uh, Secret of Mana, things like that. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Uh, check out my other videos, and I'll be seeing you later.